Hello everybody! I am glad to see all your smiling faces and everybody being here. Welcome to the light chart tutorial of the basic theory. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it and also we're going to be going through some intervals and also uh, just basic notes as well. So first up, I think we should go over how a keyboard works and essentially why it's structured this way. Now, in Western music you'll find that we essentially have 12 keys from C to C. And um, anywhere in between these keys, you'll find um, you can you can create melodies and chord structures and progressions and all kinds of things like this. And um, I think the first things we should go over is the notes because we can't do anything without notes, now can we? <laughs> um, so you'll see that it goes from C to C, but you'll see there's notes in between. And if you go through the alphabet, you'll know that. Uh, Usually, you don't stop at G, do you? Or G-sharp. Um, but in music, we abbreviated it as this because it, it helps it helps you uh, just write the music better. And it, essentially, we, we have repeating patterns. Like C over here is the same C over here. It's just higher. Now, if we go through and uh, listen to them, then it'll be C, C-sharp, D, D sharp, E, uh, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and C again. Now, through through all of these, um, when you take two notes, then it'll, you'll start having intervals. Now. For a very long time, I didn't understand what intervals were until I watched uh, Varian's video on the subject, and I think you guys are going to find this quite interesting, especially if you download this uh, project file. I'm going to be leaving it at the bottom of the description. Um, so basically, what I went through and did is, uh, if you go into the current um, mixer track, if you go into the current mixer track, you'll find that I made a few uh, assets for you guys to go through and. and just watch while while we talk about this. Now I did make this detached so it can go anywhere. It can even go off screen if you wanted it to uh, do that. But essentially, if you go through and you play each of these in the in the playlist, you'll have the minor second, the major second, minor third, major third, perfect fourth, tritone, perfect fifth, minor sixth, major sixth, uh, minor seventh, major seventh and the octave. Now each of these go through like that. Now what I did is I set it up so that you have chords first. It's uh, a, a two note chord and that's an interval playing at the same time. And then I went through and made it go ascending um, in an arpeggio type of style. And it's just the same names again and then I made it go descending. Now, I would recommend strongly that you guys memorize descending because a lot of, uh, like how we work is we can we can usually find um, patterns like these ascending much easier than descending. And I feel that if artists learn how to uh, cultivate the, the descending first, then ascending won't be as difficult either because you'll you'll already already have memorized the pattern so memorize ascending and descending not just ascending because they're different they're both different and you'll you'll be confused by them later on so yeah just go through and uh we can just go through and play these again so it's the octave the major seventh the minor seventh the major seven uh sixth the minor sixth the perfect fifth the tritone the perfect fourth, the major third, the minor third, the major second, the minor second, the octave, and then yeah, then we just go around again from the beginning. So yeah, I would recommend you guys just go through and uh, just play through this. And um, if you if you get bored of this, try going into the MIDI, and then you can um, you can essentially just move this up and down to get a different key. And I would recommend you learn this on all of the keys. <laughs> It's a lot of work to memorize these, and um, I myself haven't taken the time to go through them perfectly yet, but I do know some of them. 
like I can identify some of them well. Like I'm very good at identifying per uh, perfect fifths and major and minor thirds. Those are my, well, not that one. That one and this one. Those are my uh, my favorites that I can identify in the hair drop, usually. Um, but you want to be flexible as an artist, so you want to be able to identify all of them. Now, where do uh, where does this really come into play where you can really get into the nitty-gritty about why to learn these? So, um, intervals make chords. If you know how to structure intervals, you know how to structure chords. For example, a minor third mixed with a perfect fifth will give you a minor triad. Because uh, at, we'll, we'll go through why uh, intervals have like no texture when you use them. For example, the the perfect fifth and the perfect fourth are open and they don't really uh, resemble a sound other than just being open. If you add a minor third or a, a, a major second or major third, you start getting into territory where you get chords, where you get like um, more meaningful chords because you can't really identify a melody just from um, the perfect fourth and the perfect fifth. I may be wrong though. Um, so yeah, I would strongly recommend that you guys go through the project and really um, poke around in it. Like just press space the whole time and just do this for, do it for a month. Do it for a week, if you can. Every day for a month or a week. Let's call it the LS interval challenge. We'll, we'll all do it. I'll, I'll do it with you guys, because I also need to really brush up on my, my theory. So, yeah, hit me up on Twitter, and we can do this challenge. I challenge you to do this. Uh, yeah, if you don't have FL, you can just get the demo, because this is, I, I used a lot of stock stuff, so you can, you can go through this on the demo as well. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yes, you'll be able to because I saved it as a um, a project with 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 my credentials. So you guys will be able to reopen this. Um, I'm sure. If you can't, um, I'll just let me know. I'll upload a video with just these, and I'll, I'll like press space, and then you can press space on like YouTube or something. Um, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And yeah. Uh, challenge light shard interval challenge hashtag yes I challenge you do it but yeah uh, as always I am very happy to teach whatever you guys want to know if you guys have anything leave it at the comments down below this is part one by the way um, there will be a part two three four five I don't know how many but yes uh, this is gonna be great and we're gonna learn lots of awesome stuff how to write melodies and chord structures and lots of stuff yeah so good luck I am hoping for great things keep in touch on Twitter and on anywhere you guys want to so yeah thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below all the good stuff uh, join our discord Go see some of my friends' music. Go see some of my music. I don't know. Yeah. And have fun. That's, that's what this is about.